Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing how to compute for the geometric series if the given sequence is a finite sequence. Let us define first what is a geometric series. So when we say geometric series, it is the sum of terms in a geometric sequence. So to solve for the geometric series of a geometric sequence, we have four conditions that we need to consider. So the first one, if R is not equal to 1, or the common ratio is not equal to 1, we will use the formula S sub N is equal to A sub 1 quantity 1 minus R raised to N power all over 1 minus R. And the second one, the second condition is if R is equal to 1, S sub N is equal to A sub 1 times N. And if R is equal to negative 1 and N is an even number, then we will use the formula S sub N is equal to 0. And the last one, if R is equal to negative 1 and N is an odd number, we will use the formula S sub N is equal to the value of the first term. We're in A sub 1 is equal to the value of the first term, N is equal to the number of term, R is equal to the common ratio, and S sub N is equal to the sum of the geometric sequence. Let's have our first example. Find the sum of the first 25 terms of 11, 11, 11, 11. So the first thing you need to do is to compute for the common ratio using the formula R is equal to A sub 2 over A sub 1, A sub 3 over A sub 2, and A sub 4 over A sub 3. Then you will substitute the value of the second term, which is 11, the value of the first term, which is 11, the value of the third term, which is also 11, the second term is also 11, fourth term and third term is also equal to 11. And then dividing that, 11 divided by 11 will be equal to 1. So the value of the common ratio is equal to 1. So if R is equal to 1, then we will use condition number 2, where in the formula in finding the geometric series for condition number 2 is S sub N is equal to the value of the first term times N. And then after that, we will substitute. So S sub 25 equals the value of the first term, which is equal to 11, times the value of N, which is equal to 25. So multiplying 11 and 25 will be equal to 275. So the sum of the first 25 terms of 11, 11, 11, 11 is equal to 275. Let's have our second example. Find the sum of the first 47 terms of 17, negative 17, 17, negative 17. So first, we will be computing for the value of the common ratio using the formula R is equal to A sub 2 over A sub 1 equals A sub 3 over A sub 2 equals A sub 4 over A sub 3. So substituting the value of A sub 2, which is equal to negative 17, over the value of a sub 1 which is 17 the value of a sub 3 is 17 and the value of a sub 2 is equal to negative 17 the value of a sub 4 is negative 17 over the value of a sub 3 is positive 17 then dividing that negative 17 divided by 17 is negative 1 17 divided by negative 17 is negative 1. 
and negative 17 divided by 17 is negative 1. So the value of our common ratio is equal to negative 1. And then after that, since R is equal to negative 1 and N is equal to 47, which is an odd number, so we will be using condition number 4. We're in the formula for condition number 4 is S sub N is equal to the value of the first term. So to do that, we only need to identify our first term. So our first term is 17. The sum of the first 47 terms of 17, negative 17, 17, negative 17 is equal to 17. Okay, let's proceed with our next example. Find the sum of the first 36 terms of negative 14, 14, negative 14, 14. Let's find the value of the common ratio using the formula R is equal to A sub 2 over A sub 1 equals A sub 3 over A sub 2 equals A sub 4 over A sub 3. Let's substitute the value. The value of the second term is 14. The value of the first term is negative 14. The value of the third term is negative 14. The value of the second term is 14. The value of the fourth term is 14. And the value of the third term is negative 14. Dividing those numbers, so we will have the common ratio, which is equal to negative 1. So since R is equal to negative 1 and N is equal to 36, which is an even number, then we will be using condition number 3. And the formula in condition number 3 is S sub N is equal to 0. So S sub 25 is equal to 0. Thus, the sum of the first 36 terms of negative 14, 14, negative 14, 14 is equal to 0. Let's have our next example. Find the sum of the first seven terms of 16, 32, 64. So let's compute for the value of the common ratio. R is equal to A sub 2 over A sub 1 equals A sub 3 over A sub 2. We will be substituting the value. The value of A sub 2 is equal to 32. The value of A sub 1 is equal to 16 and the value of E sub 3 is equal to 64, and the value of E sub 2 is equal to 32. 32 divided by 16 is equal to 2. 64 divided by 32 is equal to 2. So the value of the common ratio is equal to 2. So since R is not equal to 1, then we will use condition number 1. The formula in finding condition number 1, if R is not equal to 1, is S sub N is equal to A sub 1 quantity 1 minus R raised to the nth power all over 1 minus R. And then we will identify the given. The value of the first term is equal to 16. The value of N is equal to 7 because we have 7 terms. The value of the common ratio is equal to 2, and the unknown is S sub n. So we will be substituting the values. S sub 7 equals 16 times the quantity of 1 minus 2 raised to the 7th power all over 1 minus 2. And then we will simplify. Bring down S sub 7 equals 16 times quantity 1 minus 2 to the 7th power. So you will multiply 2 7 times by itself. So the answer is negative 128 all over negative 1. So bring down S sub 7 equals 16. 1 minus 128 is equal to negative 127 over negative 1. And then after that, you will multiply 16 times negative 127 is 
negative 2032 all over negative 1. So dividing negative 2032 divided by negative 1. So S sub 7 will be equal to positive 2032. Thus, the sum of the first seven terms of 16, 32, 64, and so on is 2032. Let us proceed with our last example. Find the sum of the first six terms of 27, 9, 3, and so on. So we will find the value of the common ratio using the formula R is equal to A sub 2 over A sub 1 equals A sub 3 over A sub 2. We will substitute the values. A sub 2 is 9 over the value of A sub 1 is equal to 27 equals the value of the third term which is equal to 3 and the value of the second term which is equal to 9. 9 divided by 27 and 3 divided by 9 is equal to 1 third. So the common ratio is equal to 1 third. Since R is not equal to 1, then we will use condition number 1. So the formula for condition number 1 is S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times the quantity of 1 minus R raised to n power all over 1 minus R. And then after that, we will identify the given. So we have the value of the first term, which is equal to 27. The value of n, which is equal to 6. And the value of our common ratio is equal to 1 third. So we will find the sum of the sixth term. So we will substitute the given. So we have S sub 6 is equal to 27 times the quantity of 1, bring down, minus the value of our common ratio is equal to 1 third, raised to the 6th power, the value of n, all over, bring down 1, minus the value of our common ratio is equal to 1 third. And then we will simplify, bring down S sub 6 equals 27, copy, times quantity of 1, minus one third to the sixth power. You will multiply one six times by itself and then three six times by itself. Multiplying that will be equal to one over 729. All over one minus one third. And then bring down S sub six equals bring down 27. And then one minus one over 729 so, 1 will be equal to 729 over 729. So, they have the same denominator, so we can subtract the numerator. So, 729 minus 1 will be equal to 728. Then, copy the denominator. And then, 1 minus 1 third, so 1 will be equal to 3 over 3 to have the same denominator. So since they have the same denominator, we can subtract the numerator. So 3 minus 1 will be equal to 2 and then copy the denominator. So that will be equal to 2 thirds. And then after that, bring down S sub 6 equals 27, copy. And then times quantity of 728 all over so we will simplify 729 and that is 27 to the second power or 27 times 27 all over two-thirds copy so we have 27 times quantity of 728 over 27 to the second power so we will simplify so 27 divided by 27 to the second power that will be equal to 1 over 27 so this will be 728, copy 728, all over 27, and then over 2 thirds. And then we will simplify, copy 728 over 27, divided by 2 thirds. And then we will cross multiply, 728 times 3 will be 2,184. 27 times 2 will be equal to 54, getting the lowest term 
is equal to 364 over 9. And then dividing that will be equal to 40.44. So the sum of the first six terms of the geometric sequence 27, 9, 3, and so on is equal to 40.44. Thank <music> you.